I am back. <laughs> you know, you have been waiting so long for the actual, uh, you know, implementation of logic design. So let's let's roll. You know, uh, it's time for action. So, uh, you know, uh, we have already in earlier video seen the actual uh, uh, designing of the algorithm and uh, writing values, etc. So uh, after getting the values of m1, m2, m3, m4, the output values, uh, so we'll have uh, s1, s2, s3, right? and uh, uh, we'll have m1 and m2 m3 m4 so we know that this is of one motor this is of other dc motor this is d1 motor this is d2 that m2 is always the complementary of m1 that is if m1 is one uh, then m2 is zero if m1 is zero then m2 is one so we'll leave m2 for now the same goes with this dc motor also so we'll leave m4 for now so we'll consider only m1 and m3 to control both the dc motors using the input functions here okay so as we have already seen in the algorithm for the eight combination values of s1 s2 and s3 we'll get m1 uh, output as one 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 zero one zero okay and for m3 we will get the output combination as um, 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 okay using these output combinations for separately separately we have to solve the logic uh, you know the truth table of this and we have to arrive at a logical expression so if you are already familiar with the K map uh, type of uh, solving a uh, logical truth table K map. If you are an electronic student, you will be knowing this very well. You just apply K map for this output output equation output variable f uh, and with these three input variables. Okay. If you are not familiar with what K map is or everything going everything's going off your head, so don't worry about that. I have a very easy solution for this. You have uh, we have mentioned uh, you know uh, easy software for any platform Windows or Linux and you just go there and download the software. I put the software and uh, how uh, how the software works and the screenshots etc in the post below in the Neuro Goodies site and you just go through it and you will be uh, you know uh, learning how to solve. Uh, mm, the output equation output the functions in the truth table and get the uh, logical expression okay after going through the uh, post below you will be arriving at an a logical expression of m1 as m1 equals s1 bar plus s3 okay and then m3 will be uh, s1 into and of s2 bar s1 bar and of s2 bar plus this packet comes here and this is the actual logical expression of these two output variables so you may be con uh, confused of like uh, how do uh, what does these logical expressions actually mean right so i will be now writing the circuit diagram for these logical expressions just for you to know uh, if you are familiar with uh, uh, you will be knowing the design and uh, structure of AND gate, OR gate, etc. If you are not, please go through the links below again and read that. Uh, read that and come back again. Okay. This is a two input AND gate. This is a uh, two input OR gate. Uh, this is a one input NOT gate. Okay. So using these three gates, we'll be uh, you know designing the circuit for the expression that we have got. So for first. We need the output for uh, motor one. Okay, we'll uh, motor one. Uh, we got the uh, output expression as uh, S1 bar plus S3, right? So let's take the uh, inputs of sensors like this. This is S1, S2, S3. These are nothing but connecting wires that I'm drawing lines here. And then let's draw like this. And uh, to get the output for M1, all I have to do is I have to take a tab of the wire here and then bring it all the way to till here and then uh, I have to do a knot. I have to give it to a knot gate and then I have to send it to a OR gate to do the plus. Okay, I have, I've got S bar, S1 bar here and uh, I have to OR it with S3, right? So tap here and then OR it with S3. S3. So S1 bar or 
R is this one plus plus is R S3. So we will get M1 as output here. This is nothing but a motor output for um, first terminal of DC motor 1. And as I already told, M2 is complementary of M1. So I will be taking the NOT gate here at the output of the OR gate. And hence I have got the output of the first motor uh, for the two terminals M1 and M2. So easy, right?